Welcome back to Afternoon Express and welcome back by popular demand, baby. I'm so happy every time I come back into the kitchen. I kind of feel like I don't even want to be professional. I just want to say things and yeah. do things. Well, please and, don't. Oh. Because we have to give South Africa the tips and tricks that they need to truly deck out their uh, Christmas tables this year. Right. So let's get into it. Whether you want to cook it from scratch or slice and serve, Woolies has you covered this festive season. Today, Chef Clem is going to show us how to make a chipotle and pineapple gammon from scratch. Ooh, I'm already sweating bullets. Okay, but why? Why? How many gammons have you cooked in your lifetime? Zero. Okay, today, today <laughs> is the education, okay? It is so simple. So this start of from scratch means uncooked. But okay. Woolies also have a selection of the cooked Gammons, so you just have to like glaze it yourself and slice it and you're good to go. They even have the, oh, here we go, right here, the sliced gammon. Ah, you see, that's me. That, done. That's the one I'm definitely going to be buying. So we're catering for everyone, yeah. especially now because they deal tomorrow. If you're a Woolies Rewards member, yeah. buy any two, get 25% off. Non-rewards members get 20% off. Do you have a rewards card? I do have, a, of course I've got my Willy's okay. rewards card. 25% off for you. You know what? Just have it. I'm Just lining up. I'm lining okay, up. So I'm lining up tomorrow. We're going to use the one from scratch, which is uncooked, but it's already been smoked for you. Let's think about gammon. Gammon is smoky. It has to be. It has to be. Okay. Cold water mm. goes into your pot. Okay. I, I see that your pot is cold too. Yes. All is cold. Everything cold. The reason why, if you're going to start off with hot water, you're going to start cooking your gammon from the outside too quickly, the inside not so much. So start off with cold water so everything comes together gradually. Okay? Now, I don't want to call out <clears throat> that Coco and that auntie back at home, but you heard that. We don't want no chewy, uncooked middle of the gammon this year. Even if you have chewy, dry gammon, there's things you can do with it afterwards to make okay. it delicious. Like a delicious mac and cheese with gammon. I mean, hey. A little hey. gammon croquette. Delicious. Excuse me, can I just, can I, can I get an apron? Can I get an apron for Pali? <laughs> Chef Pali has just, that's a nice one, I like that. Okay. No, you helped me level up in the kitchen and that's exactly what you and Willie's are doing this festive season. When it's festive season, we have to have Chef Clem. You know, you know, it, absolutely, it's... absolutely. Okay, in here went onions, carrots, celery, Baileys. If you're using onions in your kitchen at any time, Baileys go with it, they're oh. best friends, they're best friends. I do love a good onion. Right? But I've never tried it with uh, bay leaves. Yeah, believe it or okay. not. I love that tip. And then in goes the smoked in goes your gammon. gammon. So get your mom's biggest pot, uh -huh. okay? Get your big gammon in there and cover it with enough water to just cover everything that's going on inside that pot, okay? Here's the rule. For every one kilogram of gammon that it weighs, you can cook it for an hour. Oh. So that means for every 500 grams, half an hour, okay? Cook it, okay? Then, as soon as it comes out of that water, you let it cool down. And the thing is, I cook it with a net on, just to keep oh, it together. I love that. As soon as it comes out and you can handle it without burning, you take the skin off. The skin. Ooh. This is the skin. The very important, people end up taking off the fat cap as well. The fat cap sits underneath the skin. You want to keep as much of that fat cap on there as possible. Yeah, I then, definitely see the difference, the, the, the difference between Yes, yeah, so let me turn it for the people. What I did is I took a sharp knife and I just scored the fat in little diamond shapes mm. then went to the oven. You want to start rendering out the fat. And that sounds like, what? What? Yeah. Rendering out the fat is, I like the way she says, yeah. I'm yeah. just like, I'm listening, yeah. I'm like, uh-huh, tell yeah. me more. I'm really, there's so much pressure working on a cooking show at home, Every December, everyone's looking at me like, oh, Pani, what did you learn this year? So I'm listening We're gonna quiz so you. much We're intent. gonna quiz you. Okay, okay, so take a sharp knife, score the fat. It goes into the oven at 180 degrees. You start letting all that fat that's in the fat start coming out, okay? At the same time, you're gonna start getting these little grooves. Can you see that? Mm, I Which do see that. what you want, because we're gonna make our delicious chipotle glaze. And I'm also uh, sure that as that fat renders down and goes into the actual meat, Talk to it me. just keeps that moisture, it keeps it succulent, so that by the time you slice that bad boy open, honey yes yes that is the yumminess so i'm look, looking you forward be, to you want to really impress your guests you take the gammon fat that renders out and you fry your potatoes in it <gasps> yes because just just do it okay okay so i've got to speed up now so chipotle is amazing okay these, these are chipotles in adobo sauce have you ever had it no so i only know chipotle from like uh, restaurant flavors it's always like in mexican food yeah, right Pali be traveling she's been in america <laughs> lately she's been having some chipotle some chipotle okay so, so what is chipotle exactly and what a, flavors can chipotle we chipotle is a, a a smoked jalapeno okay mm. then adobo sauce has all those amazing spices in there it is okay i'm gonna let you taste it i'm gonna warn you trigger warning trigger warning trigger warning no no i got you, I okay. got you. No, it is spicy pain. It is spicy. I still have to talk after this, Clem. But you were like, I'm from Durban. I can handle all the spice. I mean, what are you doing to me? I, I gave did, you a trigger but, warning. But I, no, I also have to explain this, Mzanti, as he does continue to add the layers of that chipotle sauce coming uh -huh. together. 
afterwards it's actually quite a refreshing taste. And we're going to tone it down even more. So okay. we're going to go in with the pineapple juice. I've got pineapple rings and I like this fact that this is quite retro with the pineapple rings mm -hmm. and the cherries on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can save that syrup because what do you do with that syrup? You know, it's weird. So we're going to use it in the actual glaze. You try that. Try that. Okay. Tell the people. Okay, spring onions go in there and then we're going to blend it. Okay. What? All right. Can I ask you to blend for me quickly? Mm -hmm. Here we go. You Put do me that. to work. This is delicious. I give it a 10 out of 10, Zanzi. Nice. The flavours are very overwhelming, though, so this is not for people who like mild or, you know, no flavour. This is mild. for the spicy ones. Mild is so 2020. What? This is for the spicy ones, let me tell okay, you. Okay, so. so it is spicy, so here's what you do is, you can actually decide how many chilies you're going to add to the mixture. Okay. And the thing is, once you cook it, that intense heat disappears and you get a nice, you get a hum. Mm, you don't get is. a ha, you no, get a... It's a ha. Mm. This is good. Okay, cool. I got this one. Oh, you got so that you're one? So you make sure it's nice and thick. You can even add some of the pineapples to it. That's what I do to thicken it up slightly. Then, remember we rendered out all that fat and we yes. got all those nice little crevices going on there. Mm -hmm. They're going to hold the sauce, okay? Mm -hmm. So, we're going to go on with our beautiful chipotle and pineapple glaze. Now, this sauce is amazing on chicken. It is so good on lamb. Mm -hmm. On beef, it is magical. I just love the way that when I talk, Pella goes, but also, I can't. It's like you're looking into my you. soul, Absolutely. like you get me. And, I, and what you are saying makes so much sense because the flavors that do come from this chipotle sauce are so versatile, I really can add it to almost any meal. Any meal. So jar that bad boy up Absolutely. and you can enjoy it at another time. So you, and I love the fact that you added it with the gammon. It's, it's, it's so beautiful. The sweetness also. The sweetness. Yeah, I can taste that too. So you know like when you make a tomato-based thing, sauce like a curry or you make like certain stews that have a lot of spices, they taste better the next day? Yeah. The thing about gammons is you make a gammon intentionally to have it for the next three days. Mm. That sauce just mellows out even more and tastes better the second day, the third day. It just tastes absolutely amazing. So, I like you've got your skewers there. Yeah, this maybe. is my little throwback to being retro. I love those little gammons that have the pineapple, the yes, cherries on them. take me back, honey, to the 17th. But it's not even just for decoration because the pineapple again on top of there. We've got the flavor inside the glaze, but it's gonna be on top as well, nice and fresh. We've got the cherries on there. This is gonna come out so delicious. Yeah. I'm telling you. 10 out make, of 10. Make three because you're gonna wanna have this for the whole festive season, Chipotle. And get to Woolies tomorrow in get store, that honey. Get that deal. And if you wanna get your hands on this recipe, Please do visit woolworths.co.za.